ladies and gentlemen, specially invited guests, honorable counselors, good afternoon. I extend a warm welcome to all here this afternoon to witness the swearing in of our counselors for the different divisions. I hope and I trust that they will foster unity and progress for the betterment of our parish. Counselors, special greetings. And I trust that all you do, you do it in the name of God. Thank you. I want to recognize in the audience our members of parliament, Mr. James Robertson, West St. Thomas, Dr. Michelle Charles, East St. Thomas. And I want to congratulate our newly elected councillors, Councillor Chin, Councillor Jones, Councillor Stevens, Councillor John Lee, Councillor Hubert Williams, Andrea Patience, Dinsdale Smith, Ron Bryan, Ludlow Madison. And among those, we have former mayors. So there are experience around the table. We have also councillors who have served this parish for a long time. In the audience also, let me not forget, I want to recognize Rosemary Shaw, and she is also a former mayor of Moran Bay. I want to recognize DSP Thompson, Chief Public Health Inspector Mrs. Ellington, and all other heads of agencies. We welcome our counselors. The job is not going to be easy. You will be called on to provide shelter. You heard what I said? Shelter, food, clothing. It is not an easy job, but you are asked only to do your very best. That is all you will do. But don't forget anybody along the way. You have taken on the responsibility of helping, looking after the needs of your brothers and sisters. So as you go forward, I want to wish you all the very best. And as I said before, there is experience around the table. Share information. You're not on your own. And as you sit around the table, you are the directors of the Municipal Corporation of St. Thomas. And you will be called upon to serve with love, integrity, patience, do not leave anybody along the way because you believe that person did not vote for you or is not supporting you. Only recently I was speaking with someone and the person said to me, one thing they can speak to, and I want my newly elected counselor, Cheryl Stevens, to remember this. Your served with distinction. The colors did not matter. And I want to leave that with you here this morning. As you serve, you are serving the people of St. Thomas. May God bless you. Walk with him. May you remember that he is the one that allowed you to be elected. Nobody else. God laid out this plan for your life, and you're only walking in it by faith. God bless you all. I recognize our Prime Minister, the most honorable Andrew Michael Holness. When I came and I sat outside under the mango tree, I came one hour early to learn and understand. 
the last occasion, maybe eight years ago, the Custos knows it well, and I apologize for my behavior on that occasion publicly now. It's good that time has given me this opportunity in the same place. It may also give me more opportunities here in the near future. I want to say to most honorable Pernell Charles, former minister of local government, OJ, and his wife, who I know well, I want to say you have lent your daughter, Dr. Michelle Charles, to St. Thomas to chart a course. That's not an easy one. And she's doing that, charting a course, a different course. I want to say to all former mayors, councillors, I'm sure you did your best. But I want to say to this group of 10 swearing in, we are looking for a course that puts the people first at all times. We are looking for a course, as the Costa said, and I listened carefully to every single word, don't forget the people. Put the people first. You are here to serve the people, to be humble in your service. Let us chart that course and that course only. One hundred and fifty nine years later, we in this room, we on these hallowed grounds in St. Thomas can reflect on Paul Bogle's work. St. Thomas is no longer the forgotten parish. No more talk about St. Thomas being forgotten. That has changed. 4,000 housing solutions, NHT housing solutions, that is what Paul Bogle walked for. 4,000 new jobs in the very, very new and near future at the new urban center. I learned a lot this morning, and I'm going to ask the CEO, Madam Secretary. I see you chuckle for the new titles I give you. Please help us understand our culture and history. Let some research be done. Because when I looked at that old church in Church Corner on Church Street, I realized why we have said the old town of Morant Bay must be a historic center. And that was presented by the Prime Minister in his last budget speech. So it's just not the new town center. It is remembering from where we have come and what we mean to Jamaica, land we love. I filled and bought a new exercise book. Three pens. One orange, one blue, like my friend's suit on the left from Bath, and right, John Lee and McLeod, and also one green. I don't, as the Custos warned us, I don't play politics with principle, politics with people's life, politics with the development and future of St. Thomas. If I compromised on any of those things, we wouldn't be here talking about St. Thomas, no longer the forgotten parish. I will never forget my journey. I close by saying to our new mayor, your journey has just begun. Be strong, be steadfast, be principled. Don't give in to flights of fantasy or self 
aggrandization. Put the people in the infirmary first. Put the poor people which you are here to help and protect first. And never forget your mandate. Bless you all. It's a pleasure to be here. I make no apologies for speaking as long as I have done. I usually don't speak. I usually ask others to carry out the actions because sometimes some of us talk too much. Thank you. Declaration of the councillors. They will now, one after each other, stand and repeat the declaration. I, Sharu Stephen, of the C4 Division, solemnly <laughs> affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, do my duty as a counselor of the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation, the clear before the said Dennis Cowie, principal returning officer of the parish of St. Thomas, this seventh day of March in the year of our, our Lord, 2024. Good afternoon. I, John Lee of the Yalas Division, solemnly affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, do my duty as a counselor of the Municipal Corporation of the Parish of St. Thomas. Declare before the said Dennis Cowie, Principal Returning Officer for the Parish of St. Thomas, this seventh day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024. I, Michael McLeod, of the Dalby Division, have been duly elected uh, to the office of the Vice Chairman of the St. Thomas Municipal Corporation and Deputy Mayor of Marnie. Do here affirm that I will duly and faithfully, faithfully and fully, the duty of such office without fear or favor, purely or ill will, and to the best of my judgment and ability. I test before the said Dennis Coy for the municipal corporation for the parish of St. Thomas on the seventh day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024. In Jones of the Trinity Bill Division, solemnly affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, to do my duty as counselor of the municipal corporation of the parish of St. Thomas. I declare before the said Dennis Gowey, principal returning officer for the parish of St. Thomas, that this, the seventh day of March, in the year of our Lord, 2024. I, Louis Chin, of the Cedar Valley Division, solemnly affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, to do my duties as a counselor of the Municipal Corporation of the Parish of St. Thomas. I declare before the said Dennis Cowie, Principal Returning Officer for the Parish of St. Thomas. This seventh day of March, in the year of our Lord, 2024. I, Andrew Patience of the Landway Division, solemnly affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, do my duties as a counselor of the Municipal Corporation of the Parish of St. Thomas. Declare before the said Dennis Cowie, Principal Returning Officer for the Parish of St. Thomas, this seventh day of March, in the year of our Lord, 2024. I, Hubert Williams, of the White Horses Division, solemnly affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, do my duties as a counselor of the Municipal Corporation of the Parish of St. Thomas. Declare before the said Dennis Cowie, Principal Returning Officer of the Parish of St. Thomas, this seventh day of March, in the year of our Lord, 2024. Good afternoon, everyone. I, Dinsdale Smith of the Port Marat Division, solemnly affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, 
do my duties as a counselor of the municipal corporation of the parish of St. Thomas. Declared before the said Dennis Cowie, principal returning officer for the parish of St. Thomas, this seventh day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024. Good afternoon. I, Rowan Bryan of the Morant Bay Division, solemnly affirm that I will, to the best of my ability, do my duties as a counselor of the municipal corporation of the parish of St. Thomas. Declared before the said Dennis Coey, principal returning officer for the parish of St. Thomas, this seventh day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024. For returning resident for the parish of St. Thomas, this seventh day of March in the year of our Lord, 2024. We had one Chinese mayor. We now no have another Chinese mayor. I want to welcome you to politics. It is not going to be easy. There will be a lot of hands stretching out to you. Do your very best. And you have a long sitting member of parliament. You have Mayor, Mayor you, sorry, former Mayor you. He's also my former counselor. But you have persons who you can call on at any given time. Do not feel that you're on your own. It is new and you will learn one step at a time. God bless you and may you walk in faith love and integrity. Thank you. Greetings from Mr. James Robertson, Member of Parliament, St. Thomas Restaurant. Yes. I am blessed as a member of parliament for West St. Thomas with the most beautiful Costas, the most beautiful superintendent. I am blessed with a secretary manager, a lady who my respect for grows on a daily, hourly, minutely basis. Put your hands together for her. I recognize now the mayor of Morant Bay. Maybe my order of precedence was wrong, but I know you'll forgive me. The sacrifice to family you have made to the service of the people of St. Thomas. I tell you, we share that together and you are going to make one of the best mayors St. Thomas has ever seen. I say to the lady to my right, Alicia Francis, I say to her two sons, Haven and Halen, I hope I pronounced those correctly because you must have chosen those names carefully. I will have to now seek counsel with linguists to understand if there's something behind it. Because when Pastor Rodney, who I recognize now, said and used the word solemn, I am not ashamed to say that I had to ask somebody to look up the proper meaning of the word. And in that, I found dignified. It speaks to sermonies. I have never tested my vocabulary with you. And I know that yours is exceptional, Costos. It also says sincere. It also says honest. And I move chapter. Please allow him the time to serve. You are going to have to be strong.
because St. Thomas now needs a gentleman, a mayor, an individual that's going to set a new direction. The people want it, they have spoken. Costos of St. Thomas, Mrs. Marcia Bennett. Members of Parliament for Western St. Thomas, Mr. James Robertson. Members of Parliament for Eastern St. Thomas, Mrs. Michelle Charles. My fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, and citizens of the wonderful parish, good afternoon. I stand before you today humbled and honored to be your mayor. This is not just a victory for me, but for all of us who believe in community prosperity and unity. As your mayor, I pledge to serve each of you with dig dig dedication, dignity, and integrity. Together, we will work to address the challenges facing our parish to build a brighter future for our generation to come. I believe in potential of our parish and its ability to become a first world parish which projects such as the new urban center at the old Goodyear factory that is currently under construction. This is the vision of our prime minister the most honorable Andrew Holness, and I will work with him to fulfill that dream. I know that, I know that we cannot do it alone. We need each and everyone to join us on this journey to make St. Thomas a better tomorrow. I promise to listen to your concern, to meet your needs, and to put the people of this parish first. I am excited about the work to be done, and I am grateful for the trust you place in me. Let us work together to build a better St. Thomas with prosperity for all. I want to thank my family for supporting me. I want to thank the Prime Minister, the Honorable Andrew Holness, the Member of Parliament for St. Thomas. My few, my few fellow councillors, the people of the Cedar Valley Division, the people of the wonderful parish called St. Thomas, and most of all, I want to say thank you to God. God bless you. Thank you. And Mayor Chin, Deputy Mayor McLeod, Mrs. Marcia Bennett, our wonderful Custis, it's good to see you. Mr. James Robertson, my brother, Member of Parliament from St. Thomas Western. Newly elected councillors, former Speaker of the House and Member of Parliament, Parnell Charles Sr. and his wife, Gloria Charles, who happens to be my mother. Former mayors, Shaw and Hugh, and all other officials, Ms. Carter, and workers at the Municipal Corporation, Superintendent Byfield, DSP Thompson, and members of the security force, Pastor Rodney, you always do a good, good prayer, Pastor Rodney. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and warm greetings to all of you. Good afternoon out there. It is an honor and a privilege for me to stand before you today as member of parliament for St. Thomas Eastern on this momentous occasion, the swearing in of our mayor and deputy mayor and leaders chosen by the people of St. Thomas. It has been a long campaign, but it, has, it is over now, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you to build our community and make the lives of our citizens better. We are St. Thomas, and the spirit of Paul Bogle is within us. The spirit of sacrifice and sense of responsibility and duty towards each other. That inner belief that we are connected to a calling higher than ourselves our government has laid the foundation for prosperity. No other government has invested in us like this Andrew Holness government. As I look and see so many of you standing, I'm happy to be reminded 
that in just a few more months, we're going to have a brand new urban center and a new building where the municipal corporation has an office big enough to hold all of us comfortably. For that, we must praise the Andrew Holness government. So, so my MP from the West, you will have a seat. You don't have to fight anyone for your seat over there. We have, and your seat is, you know, your seat's safe all the time. So even though we wear our orange and our green, today, let us join together to make a commitment that St. Thomas will be no, no longer be forgotten. We're no longer the forgotten parish, but a place where we can live and love and do business and raise our children in a peaceful society and where we can relax at the bath fountain and retire. This is my pledge, and I know it is yours, newly elected as well. We are St. Thomas, and we are unforgettable. May our internal father continue to shower us in St. Thomas with blessings and Jamaica land we love. Good afternoon, everyone.